They call it the Razor Blade 14, and let's talk about why I'm gonna be sending this model back. It's not exactly what I was looking for. I am currently in the market for an on-the-go laptop. I've been using the Acer Swift 3 for quite a while, but it just doesn't have the on-the-go performance that I've been looking for. And so I was hoping that the Razer Blade 14 would be a size comparison opportunity for me to make an upgrade in performance. However, there's a handful of things, five to be exact, that stand out to me for why it does not fit my needs. And let's jump right into it. First and foremost, amongst tons of contradiction in my comment section, this laptop gets hot. I've had people comment saying they haven't seen above 80 degrees Celsius. I've seen a bunch of other reviews saying, hey, the thermals manage pretty well. To me, this just isn't true. Because of the aluminum chassis, because of the higher performing GPU and CPU, I'm seeing very hot thermals. I'm seeing on average 92 degrees Celsius during the export time out of Premiere Pro and over 100 degrees Celsius during the peak temperatures all of which is making a big difference to me as I'm having it on my lap, as I'm having my palms rested on the keyboard deck, it is a hot laptop. Now, the reason is not necessarily the GPU. The GPU is staying rather cool during these different exports. But what I'm finding is that CPU is so hot and the thermal management just can't seem to keep up. The fans kick up pretty loud, even when I try to turn them down and do a bunch of different manual settings to try and get it just right to find the optimal performance for thermal and fan control, it just has not worked out. And for me, being that this is an on-the-go laptop and I'm gonna have it on my lap in the car or maybe even traveling with it on planes at some point, I just have not found it to be a comfortable, enjoyable laptop for myself. Now, that leads me to the second thing, which is battery life. Though you can get four to five to six hours of battery life if you turn off the keyboard and turn on the brightness, often for myself when I'm traveling, I'm gonna wanna do edits and video edits are taking a ton of power with this 3070 GPU and the Ryzen 9 5900HX. As you can see, the battery life coming up on the screen right now, it just didn't perform the way I anticipated and hoped for with this laptop. Next thing is that it easily scratches and dents, and it shows those scratches and dents pretty obviously because of this black powder coat. Now, underneath this black is, of course, the you know aluminum material, which is silver. So whenever you pop or nick or scratch this thing, I have friends who have razor blades and they've shown me theirs. I try and take very good care of my laptops, but I can still anticipate that happening to me. I do not want to see this thing with pock marks and scratch marks all over it. And that is what I've seen my friends who have this laptop, they're running into that issue. And so that's an area that for me, uh, I struggle with. This right here is a 2015 MacBook Pro, and though I do have some scratches and some nicks and dents on this laptop, they're not as obvious because the silver is not color. It's just the silver aluminum material. And so whenever it nicks or scratches, I don't notice it as much. So though I do run into some scratching on the MacBook Pro, I am not as frustrated because it's way less obvious than if this thing were to get scratched. Next thing up is the fingerprints, and this is a very petty thing, but if you look, the fingerprints are crazy on this laptop. And of course, I could grab a towel and wipe it off, but as I'm, you know, on the go and moving around, it's just, it's just displeasing. It's just not enjoyable to see all these fingerprints all over this laptop. It just is quite unattractive. It makes you look kind of dirty, like you never clean your laptop. And I somewhat pride myself on being a clean, orderly, you know, not gross person. And this kind of makes me look kind of gross, I'm not gonna lie. I don't wanna look gross. Next thing is the RAM. You can only get this laptop in 16 gigs of RAM, even making a purchase. Even if you try and purchase this laptop with 32 gigs of RAM, you can't do it. And the worst is you cannot upgrade it yourself. So you're stuck with RAM soldered to the motherboard and you can only get this laptop in 16 gigs of RAM, which in my opinion is a massive bottleneck for the CPU and GPU. If we could put this at 32 gigs of RAM, this thing would be a rocket ship. The next thing is no SD card slot. This for me was kind of a killjoy. If I want this to be my on the go, you know, workstation where I'm traveling and doing things, I would love to have an SD card slot. I don't have to bring any dongles along and all that jazz, no SD card slot. I'd have to get the razor blade advanced if I want the SD card slot. And honestly, for an on the go laptop, I prefer this 14 inch size. The 15 inch just gets a little big for me. I want something small, compact and on the go. Earlier this year, I checked out the Asus Zephyrus G14, and punch for punch, they're about the same performance, but price for price, the G14 is much better priced. So if you wanna check out my full head-to-head -head review between the Razer Blade 14 and the Asus Zephyrus G14, you can check it out in the YouTube cards above. 
So for those reasons, I am sending this laptop back. I am in no way saying that nobody should purchase this laptop. It's got great build quality. It's got a fantastic audio experience. It has killer performance. These five things are just things that I thought I would share with you and why I am not going to be keeping the Razer Blade 14. Go ahead and drop a comment below this video if you're considering purchasing or not purchasing this laptop. I wanna know your guys' thoughts. I'd love to start a conversation about why this laptop could or could not be for you. Links if you are ready to make a purchase, you can support my channel. Thumbs if this video has brought you some value and subs if you don't miss out on the future uploads. I'll see you in the next one.